Hi YouTube, this is Robonuts1 here, and I had an idea whilst watching Smallville Candle in Season 9, and I started wondering what would it be like if jor -El became Superman instead of kal -El. And I started, like, brainstorming ideas in my head. Um, normally I write this stuff down, but I, I just wanted to think about it and get your guys you guys' opinions. Um, so, let's say that Kalel didn't make it to Earth, and that, um, in Smallville Season 9, the Orb, the Orb, um, released the Kry Kryptonians. And, Jorel slowly learnt about what happened to Candor and to his planet as a whole. And um, what would Jorel be like? And I, I was thinking that maybe Jorel would be like um, Thomas Wayne in Flashpoint. Um, because in Flashpoint, um, Thomas Wayne actually witnessed his son and wife die, um, by the gunshot that would, that, that was supposed to kill him and his wife, and make Bruce become Batman. Um, so, I would think... Jorel would sort of be like that. He's lost his wife. He's lost his son. He's lost his entire planet. Um. So what would he be like? He's in this brand new planet that he may have visited at some stage in his life. Um, depending on if he really wanted to go with the small world universe. I'm talking generally here. So, Joel, um, Joel sees the other Kandorians and his nemesis, Major, or either Zod, um, and he sees Zod trying to get his powers, and... jor wants to sort of stop him. <coughs> so, um... jor is found by Jonathan and Martha Kent. And they nurse him back to health. Um, and I would think that um, Jarrell and Jonathan would actually get on very, very well. And sort of, they wouldn't have the father and son relationship, but they would sort of have these two good friends find each other in this situation. And Jonathan would sort of try and help um, jor sort of discovered himself like he did with Clark, or kal -El. Um, and eventually, um, jor decides that he has to stop Zod, and he has to stop these other Kryptonians from finding their powers. 
So he travels to um, the Arctic and activates his Fortress of Solitude. And he speaks with himself. I know that sounds very, very weird, but he does. He speaks to himself and learns about what happened to Krypton. And um, perhaps Martha is the one who gives Clark his, um, gives Jarrell his costume. Or um, perhaps Jarrell sort of creates his own because Jor because Jorel is sort of a scientist, he would do that. And unlike Clark, I feel like Jorel would sort of be, would sort of do that. He would sort of begin to create his own tech. And he would find a way to reacquire abilities under the Yellow Sun. And what he would do is he would also add his own technology into the mix. And he would go out there, fight Zod and the other Kryptonians, and save... Atropolis. And perhaps there we would have Lois Lane. Um, also... Um, write a story about Jarrell as Superman. And maybe Jarrell after, let's say this is the first, the first movie. Um, Jarrell was sort of at the end, pick up a new name. And, uh, and as opposed to becoming a blogger or a... Oh, uh, what do they call it? Um, 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 a journalist. Maybe um, Jorel would become a scientist. Maybe working for Lex Luthor or Star Labs, and sort of in his own time, he would go out and save lives. And maybe Jarrell would have the same kind of, or maybe, and maybe Jarrell and Lex Luthor would become villains, or, and maybe um Jarrell would befriend Bruce Wayne. Um, to me, I find this fascinating, and I can talk about it all the time. Um, I just wanted to get you guys' opinion. What do you think um, Jor-El would be like if he were to become Superman? And, um, and, and also, another thing I want to th throw out there before I end the video, maybe Jor-El would actually find Kara, Kara zor and train her. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to get you guys' opinion on this idea and what you would think Jor-El would be like if he came to Earth instead of his son. Um, so yeah, that's me signing off and I shall see you all later. Bye!